Hello and welcome to MathAndSciencePower.com. My name is Joe and I'll be your host. Please remember that you can help me to help you by subscribing to my channel, commenting on the videos, and rating and sharing the videos with your friends. Also remember to visit us online for a complete listing of our videos. Okay, we're going to integration by parts. And number three asks us to find the integral of x cosine 5x dx. And since this is integration by parts, we need to decide what we want to set equal to u what we want to set equal to dv, and then we need to find the derivative of u, and we need to find the integral of dv. So in an integral like this, if this x wasn't here, I could easily take the integral of cosine 5x using just a simple substitution. So the idea here is that I, I want to get this x to go away. So I'm going to make u equal x so that du will equal dx. And when I use my formula for integration by parts, what I'm left with when I take the integral, du will go away and it'll just be dx. So there won't be any x left when I go to take this integral. So that means dv has to be what is left, and that'll be cosine 5x dx. Cosine 5x dx. And since v is the integral of dv, I need to take the integral of cosine 5x dx, and to do that I need to use just a substitution, uh, u equals 5x, so du equals 5 dx, and du over 5 equals dx. So I can rewrite this integral as cosine u, and dx is du over 5, so I'm going to factor out the And when I take this integral I get 1 fifth sine, and for u I'm going to plug back in my 5x. So v will equal sine 5x over 5. So we've done the hard part deciding what we want, which factor we want to set equal to u and which factor we wanted to set equal to dv. And we also found du and v. So take a moment and see if you can plug these values into this formula and see if you can find the answer to what is the integral of x cosine 5x dx. And when we come back we'll compare our answers and I'll take you through the rest of the integral. Welcome back to mathandsciencepower.com. Okay, let's plug in our values into our formula. So this integral is u and dv and that will be equal to v times u, and when I take u times v, I get x sine 5x over 5. x sine x, or 5x over 5. And then I subtract the integral of v times du. So v is sine 5x over 5, and du is just dx. So now I can take the integral. This is easily integrated. So I'm going to subtract. I'm going to factor out this 1 fifth. And the integral of sine 5x using a substitution is going to be negative cosine 5x over 5. And now I just need to simplify a little bit. I get x sine 5x over 5 and when I multiply this negative 1 fifth into this this negative and this negative becomes positive and 5 times 5 will be 25 and the top will just be cosine 5x and I can't forget to add a c here because we are taking an indefinite